everyone how are you doing i believe you are living your best life in christ jesus in today's tutorial we'll be discussing on is it okay for a pastor to own a private jet or any expensive car like lamborghini ferrari and all those all of you that know all these expensive cars is it okay for a man of god a prophet a bishop a pastor a teacher a preacher of the word of god to own any of those property is it okay now everybody have different opinion on these topics but i'll be teaching you my own opinion and based on my own understanding i will begin by saying yes it's okay for a pastor to own a private jet but before i explain further i would like to explain the opinion of others their belief their take on this topic many people opinion that is a man of god is a pastor what did he need private jet for what did he need lamborghini for what did he need any of these expensive car for these private jet are for unbelievers these expensive cars are for politicians the private jet should be the politician not for a pastor no 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 that is your opinion in my tutorial today i'll be teaching you there is nothing wrong for a pastor to own a private jet or any expensive car in as much that that pastor did not steal your money or stole your money in as much as the pastor did not lie in the name of the lord to deceive his congregation or his church member to install money from them then it's okay for a pastor to own a private jet if he buy that private jet with his own money if he bought that car with his own money it's okay for a pastor to have a private jet now let me tell you if you know how much private jet costs i promise you nobody want to buy private jet for guy if you hear the bill of private jet where to park private jet alone it's not free of charge you have to pay for a parking space for a private jet which pastor want to impress you by buying private jet and doesn't have where to park it no i challenge you to check any pastor it's a challenge i throw to you in this tutorial watch any pastor that have a private jet look at his preaching sh schedule you will find that he's an evangelist either he have many branches around the world that he travel with those private jet to go see and preach in other country and encourage the believers in other country with that private jet some pastor don't only preach the word of god as their work they are also businessmen beside preaching on the altar they run their genuine business that they didn't defraud the church or steal from the church it is their sweat that they bought those cars then it's okay is your money missing is your sister's money missing is the church complaining that oh these few days uh, money has been missing and pastor has been buying private jet oh money is missing and pastor is changing cars is changing buildings is that is that the case no so why won't you own a private jet you see if you are not in a level of a man you will criticize him you will criticize his wealth you will criticize his his money to you anybody can buy private jet oh you are not angry sinners can own private jet oh you are not as concerned you are not bothered politicians stole money from nigeria or from philippines or from any other country around the world to buy private jet you are not complaining singers worldly singers they are driving expensive car you are not complaining the one that buy with genuinely you complain now don't get me wrong there are some fake pastors dubious pastor parading themselves as a pastor masquerading themselves as a pastor what they do is that is to cajole is to use style is to is to put fear in their congregation to install money from them just to 
buy private jet out of their selfish and greed interest now such pastors then they are fake pastor then it's wrong and i promise you god will judge them god will judge them anybody that is a thief god will judge them but if their hands are clean and they bought this private jet with their money then it's okay you shouldn't have problem with it because your own money is still intact your own house is still intact your business nothing is missing so why are you consigned with your private jet now if you check the schedule of this man of god how will you feel when you go to a terminal uh, where you want to board a public airplane and those commentators for uh, one hour to your journey they are waiting for you everything is set this commentator in the airport you know the way they speak ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you there's a misconception and we are sorry because of this and this the flight those of you flying by 1 p.m the the flight have been shifted to 3 p.m what 3 p.m service have closed 3 p.m schedule have spoiled have scattered if the man of god have his private jet will he face those silly excuses of procrastination of flight no Sometimes poverty will make you miss important and many things that are important to you and the body of Christ. So it's okay for a pastor to have a private jet. It's okay for a pastor to have expensive car. In as much that they do not lie in the name of the Lord to acquire all these things, all this thief from the church to acquire all these things, then it's okay. Let me tell you, at least it's okay for pastor to have two cars. At least two cars. To drive one in case one is giving me a headache is having a problem dump it and use the other one pastors need to be up and doing in this end time and preach the gospel they need anything available to use to run to do the work of god please the the least thing that we expect from from you is to appreciate us and thank god for our life not to criticize the cars not to criticize the the private jet and any other thing no 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 what you own this genuine man of god is encouragement prayer and support all right please there is nothing wrong with a pastor having a private jet there is nothing wrong with a pastor having an expensive car it's okay to have expensive car thank you anyone watching this tutorial today please please don't mind the way i speak in this tutorial just that i'm a bit vocal in this tutorial today the way i speak because when i see some people's comment and the way people react concerning men of god it's like men of god don't deserve anything it's like to be a pastor is a punishment it's like to be a pastor is a suffering it's like to be a pastor you you don't deserve anything good why why we deserve all the best thing because god the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof belongs to our god how can we be a servant of god and we'll be like a nobody god is able to provide for his own since you refuse to buy private jet for your pastor, God has made a way he have, have his private jet. Oh, he's paining you because you don't have the privilege to support into his life. Huh? So the least that you can do is to criticize. Please, I don't want to prolong this video more than the way it is right now. You like this video or you don't like this video. You enjoy this video or you don't enjoy this video. Please, to get more videos, subscribe to Bishop Sunday Aduku. Thank you for watching this tutorial today. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.